Hi guys, this is Rashid and you're watching Step by Step Robotics. So today I would like to show you one of the projects that I've been working for a few months. It's a delivery cart project. So I don't have it with me today, but um, I have the videos when I did the experiment outside on the field. So I will show you roughly about how it works and what the function we put into this car. So let's get started. Here is the delivery cart which made by Stanley Arts Co. A company. The front tuck can be opened to put food and drinks inside and also any package you want to deliver. Inside the controller box, I'm using Qpilot Purple and Jason Save NX for high level control. The red PCB is the AT card interface board. The blue PCB is the UART USB converter. And the green PCB is the Maestro server controller to drive the linear actuator. And the white 4G LTE modem can let the robot access to the internet. Here I'm inside a trailer and my PC already connected to the internet. So one of our team, Shello Jordan, who made this console interface for controlling the robot over the internet. So first we just open the Google Chrome browser and go to the robot console page. Then you will see the current position of the robot in the map. Once we press arm button, the robot is ready to go. And we can press this door button to open or close the front truck. So first I'm going to control the robot in manual mode by using the gamepad to make sure everything is working well. So the operator can look from the camera stream for the manual navigation. Then we can make a mission by going to Mission Planner page. So on this page, we can make a robot course path by drawing a polygon. Then it's going to generate the waypoint from that. We can edit it anytime and we can save this to the file and load it for the next time. Once we finish on the polygon, we just click on right button to send this mission to the robot. And we back to the console page again. Then you will see the our defined path is there on the map. Then once we click on auto button, the robot will start to move. For safety purpose, I'm using an object avoidance feature for a pilot, which are a simple avoidance and a bendy ruler. You can check more detail on my previous video as well. So once there is some human or object come in front, it will stop and try to looking for an open space and continue to go. This is a bendy ruler, but if we just want it to stop, then we can use a simple avoidance only.
So on the top right of the console, there are buttons to control robot heading to turn 45, 90 or 180 degrees. And also moving forward, left or right side in a specific meters. And also there is a video conference feature to let the operator communicate with the customer from the other side. And that is for today's videos. I hope you guys like it. So it's quite rough videos for this time. So I don't have much time to explain too much detail into the code or the hardware inside. But you can take a look on the codes by going to my GitHub repo, AT Car Delivery. So there is um, explaining about their uh, flowchart and the diagrams of how it works. So if you like my robot journey videos, please press like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you soon.